Good morning, it's Exuberant Dave here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And I just had a really nice uh, rest last night and I also met a fellow bike tourer. He's a guy going from uh, Philadelphia all the way to San Diego. What a big trip. Uh, his name is Jacob and it was, it was really cool to meet him. He's also vegan. Um, and then, but I'm getting going early because I'm, today I'm trying to get my first century in. I'm trying to go for about 105 miles, getting to Hayes, close to the close to the mouth of a big river that I forget the name of. And um, yeah, beautiful morning, nice and sunny. Uh, not too cold either. Today I'm going down Route 17, and there's two things that are really nice about it. One is that it's off the beaten path, so there's not too much traffic. And the other is uh, I'm only going, I'm pretty much staying on this one all day today, so I don't have to think about turns, which clears up my mind for other thoughts, thinking more along the lines of songs or like ideas. So that's, that's really nice, so I don't have to worry about navigation today. Passing by lots of fields where they're growing soy today. Uh, saw some corn too, and some Christmas trees and some pumpkins. But mostly soy. Oh my gosh, my friends. I found a tree that I've been, been thinking about and heard about, hearing about for a long time. Finally, first time I get to try an American persimmon. It's a, uh, it's a persimmon that's, I guess, I guess it's native to America. Uh, I'm not sure the full story of how it got here. There's a bunch of them on the ground, mushed up. I've heard that they're the stringent kind where you have to wait until they're soft before you eat them. Looks like this tree is full of them and they're all like, they all look pretty soft. So I'm going to see if I can jump up and get some man it's full most of them are actually not soft but the ones closest to the ground are so i'm gonna see if i can get get in on it i'll do uh bite off the skin eat that inside ah still astringent dang <laughs> it got me but Oh man, that's, <laughs> I feel like a persimmon beginner of that one. This one, that one was still orange, oi. This one is uh, more mushy, see, <laughs> this stringent also. Oh no, that one's good. Mmm. Mmm. What does that taste like? It tastes like some candy from my childhood. Can't remember. It's different. Different than hachia. It's a little more, a um, little more f character. Mm, I still I can't put my finger on it, but wow, that's good. I'm gonna collect some off the ground here and chow down. Mmm. See. Ah, free candy from Mother Nature. Oh yeah. Persimmon time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's more dense. It's like... Uh, the taste is more dense. There's more seeds, too. But... I'm a fan. American persimmon. Check it out. Find a tree. I just wanted to point out, right next to, okay, so there's the persimmon tree, right next to it, and all around me, really, is oak trees, which make acorns, and there's a bunch here. And this is what Native Americans' staple was. And, wow, there's so much uh, 
There's so much carbohydrates here made in the forest out of nowhere. No cultivation necessary. Uh, so much, so much, uh, so much great carbohydrates, plant foods. So I got a broken spoke, first one of the trip. Um, kind of surprised that it took this long. Um, but it's on the drive side of the rear wheel, so I'm gonna have to remove the uh, cogs. So I think that means I'm gonna have to take off, take off everything on the back. It'll, it'll help me in the long run. Went into my uh, toolbox and got the things I'll need. And that is, <laughs> I, man, I, I really should know the names, but I'm always doing it myself, so I just know how to do it. This and this are to remove the uh, the cogs, and then you need a spoke, of course. And then this this multi tool has a spoke wrench on there, so I'm gonna have to take off the wheel, remove the uh, remove the cogs, and then I have access to take off the old spoke and put in the new one. Here I've got the uh, tree bungee method for getting the back wheel off the ground so you don't have to worry about the chain getting messed up. Uh, so I got the wheel off, took off the quick release, just unscrewed it, and now to, to get off the cogs, use this tool and this tool with the wrench, and we're going, we're going lefty-loosey on it. So you wanna get this guy where you can lever it, and then I had already got it loose here. And then you can take this guy off, so after I removed the uh, the old spoke, I put the new spoke back into the place where the old where the broken one was. In this case, it was coming from the other side, up and out, and then you got to thread it right. This one, these, this thread is over, over, under. So that's what I did. Followed it, and then I had to uh, screw this in using this tool. And I'm just doing it by feel. It feel the tension feels like the, the ones next to it. After I put it back on my bike, I'm gonna see where it, how it lines up next to the brakes, and that'll be that'll get me on my way. Hope it's back together, all said and done. 18 minutes from broken spoke to fixed. I've had a lot of practice. Exuberant Dave here, very close to the end my 105 mile ride from Fredericksburg to Hayes, Virginia. And I got the full moon to shine my way in. Pretty stoked on that. This area looks super pretty. I can't wait to check it out in the morning. Uh, a lot of very long driveways and big trees and uh, yeah it looks like I'll be staying very close to the water so hopefully I can check it out tomorrow hey there it's Dave Bartels I'm here with Mr. Casey Flanagan and we're gonna play uh, a song called I forget what it's called but we're gonna play it 